Hi everyone, I just want to reassure you about one thing and that is that the Earth's core has not stopped spinning. So why am I saying that? Well, on the screen here you can see um, Michio Kaku who was invited on to CNN recently to talk about a scientific paper which apparently demonstrated that the Earth's core has stopped or was about to stop. Uh, which is a rather remarkable claim, very easy to refute. And I was a bit disappointed that Michio Kaku, a, a famous science communicator, had failed to actually do that. Uh, so what happens when you go to somewhere like YouTube and you type in Earth's core stopped spinning? Well, what you get back are lots and lots of different stories, videos, which talk about the Earth's inner core and why it stopped spinning. People even questioning, has it stopped spinning? Did Earth's inner core stop spinning? New study, Earth's core has stopped spinning and so on and so on. Well, let me just reassure you again, the Earth's core has not stopped spinning and will not stop spinning until the Earth itself stops spinning many billions of years into the future. So why do so many people appear to believe it? Well, one, it's a nice story, isn't it? It works well as clickbait. Oh, look, I'm going to click on that and listen to that story. Uh, so what disappoints me is that here, um, the professor, a good professor, a science community, failed to just stop the conversation and say, the Earth's core has not stopped spinning. Repeat it to yourself if you need to. What has actually happened is actually quite simple to explain. So the Earth itself is made up of many layers. You can see there in some of the pictures on the screen. There's the crust, there's two parts to the mantle, and then there's the core and inner core and so on. And these little pieces are more or less turning the same as the Earth, but there's a little bit of slippage between each little part, different temperatures and different boundaries between the actual layers. So what's actually happening is that if you imagine yourself in a car on the motorway and you are in the middle lane and cars are going past you on one side and appear to be slowing down on the other side and then somebody puts the brake on in the distance or you speed up or slow down, what happens is when you look at the cars on either side of you that they may have been going past you and then they stop going past you and they appear to fall behind you or cars that were behind you now appear to stop falling behind and move on in front of you, depending on whether you put the brakes on or the accelerator on. And that's the exact simple point that any of these people could have made. We are able to now calculate and observe the inner core and how quickly it is turning. And what we've learned from years of earthquake analysis, from years of underground nuclear explosions and from listening stations recording the waves passing backwards and forwards and bouncing off the different layers of the earth what we found is that yes the earth's core spins sometimes it spins a little bit faster than the earth one degree of rotation extra in any given year or one degree less of rotation in any given year but always more or less the same speed as the Earth itself. It's too big for that to stop. You couldn't get rid of all of that turning energy. And then if you want to make it spin in the other direction, where are we going to get the energy to make a turn in the other direction? It's just not something which makes any sense uh, from any kind of physics that we understand in this universe. So that's really all I want to say about it. Too many people have jumped onto the clickbait, the fascinating story. So I'll say it again, the Earth's core has not stopped and is not going to stop turning. It just looks like it when we see the relative movement of the crust where we live in this tiny layer and the movement of the core. This slowing up, speeding down of the relative moment, movement takes about 60 years to go through a cycle and then it just goes up and down like a sine wave on a regular pattern. And we can even trace other things that are happening on the surface of the Earth 
uh, to this pattern. We're beginning to see these patterns repeating themselves in different phenomena on the surface of the Earth. So don't panic, sleep well, and remember, the Earth's core has not stopped turning. Thank you.